What up, YouTube? Merry day after Christmas. Pink Ladies T-Birds. Just happen to you watchers my shit. My name is Jimmy Pink. And I need to talk about how 2016 keep getting my goddamn idols. <clears throat> excuse me. I will ask you to excuse me because I'm protest drinking. What that means is that my job, I was supposed to be off until January 2nd. But the people that are higher up, they got the last week off and will have this week off. Fucked everything up and now we got to work this week. So I have to go to work for the next couple of days. But, screw you guys. You want me to come to work? You get, you get holiday, Jimmy. God damn it. But anyway... 2016 has been a year, and, you know, I've been around for a little while, and this is not the first year, every year is a year that a lot of cel celebrities pass away, okay? Every year is. But it's just something about 2016 that are getting the biggest names. And maybe because of my age, I don't know. They are getting a lot of people. 2016, a lot of people passed away that really were significant in my lifetime and meant something to me personally. Now, I make a little joke for my pink ladies, my T-birds, people who watch me all the time. Y'all know I make the joke all the time when I come on here and it's something about somebody and I'm like, you know, I had to double check to make sure they wasn't dead because how 2016 was doing us. Well, this morning I thought that was the joke I was going to make and they actually got somebody. Similar to like Shorty Law. I'm like, oh, let me double check and make sure he ain't dead. And he was. Today it was George Michael. Now for my viewers that are younger, you might not exactly know who George Michael is, but for me, I grew up with Wham, Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go. I know about The Careless Whisper, which is one of the greatest slow songs of all time, R&B or otherwise, any genre. I know about him going solo and Faith and how huge of an impact that was. Period, the year that came out, fashion or otherwise. I know about um, Freedom and the spiritual successor is Freedom, Too Funky, which was the motherfucking jam. I know about Father Figure. I know about the duo. I knew you was waiting for me, a duet with him and Aretha Franklin. Do you know how big? Of a talent and how huge you have to be to do a motherfucking solo with Aretha Franklin, the queen of soul, the ranked number one all-time female in rock music. And this man did a collaboration with him. Do you know he is one of like the first major acts, even though he was outed for some bad behavior. He was on his worst behavior. Don't you ever get it fucked up. But he was outed. And came out as forced forced to come out as gay, but came out as gay and was still successful. That didn't happen in the 80s and 90s, ladies and gentlemen. It didn't happen for male artists, and he was a sex symbol. That didn't happen. George Michael has a huge impact musically. Wham, Make It Big was a hugely successful album to the point where nobody knows who Andrew Ridgely is. Which BT Dubs does remember a wham. He had a unique voice. He could really sing one last cry. For my viewers who don't know who George Michael is, I'm going to give you a good like 10 list of songs you need to hear so that you can hear how talented this man really was. I'm going to put one last cry at the very top. One last cry will make you cry. Not be confused with Brian McKnight's one last cry. Um... I will say Monkey. I will say Too Funky. I will say Wake Me Up Before You Go Go. I will say Careless Whisper. I will say, I'm trying to think what it's called, Everything She Wants. I will say, 
I knew you were waiting for me with him and Aretha Franklin. I will say, do they know it's Christmas after all, which is timely, but he, that was like the British version of We Are the World, and his verse, his verse stick out to me more than anybody else's on that song. And you, if you ever heard We Are the World, you know there's a lot of famous people in yeah, you can identify their songs, but you can't identify their verses and who verse was the best. When I tell you, do they know it was Christmas after all, George Michael's verse stick out. Like, clearly up front, his voice sticks out on that. Um, oh, excuse me. Anywho, YouTube, sorry about that. Um, you're welcome. I just want y'all to know that George Michael is... The shit, rest in peace, he died too young, and check out his discography. Deuces.